Okay. This is what brought you two together, and this is the this, this is the challenge that you faced, and this is your underlying energy. The ace, excuse me, the wheel of fortune, and the ace of cups is underneath that. Nice. Hmm. So. This is a new opportunity, okay? Definitely one of expressing of feelings. This is an opportunity that started, definitely one in which you have experience in, but this is something that you definitely can take advantage of because you know what, you know, you get to do something differently with what you've experienced, if that makes sense. Because you know how the other way goes, so you're doing something different, guys. Very similar to Virgo's reading, but let's go ahead and see what your affirmation is. Okay, number 18 for Honor Gaia. The earth upon which you dwell is more than just a rock covered in water, stone, and, and dirt. The earth beneath your feet, the mountains, the forests, the rivers, lakes, oceans, and the air that you breathe are all part of the magical living entity of this Gaia. Oh, love it. oh, sorry, excuse me. Magical living entity that is Gaia. She is our inter she is our eternal mother, a provider, our home. Gaia gives us life. Without her, we would be not we would not be. Honor Gaia by seeing the truth of what she is. Honor Gaia by loving her as you love yourself. So it's practically talking about connecting with spirit, connecting with the earth, connecting with every you know with the world you know with the world. You know, understanding that there is a piece of us that belongs to the universe, that belongs to the earth, and not in the way that we would think is material, but more in the sense of, you know, you know, as far as like you know, being a product of of Gaia's life, of, of the world's life, you know, living life force, and instead of you know, in the way to treat Gaia. Of course, the place that we live, this place that we call home, is by treating yourself with that same with dignity and respect. So it's very interesting that that's the card that you get today, as, as far as what we got going on here. And I feel like this is also talking about relieving yourself of material things, right? Understanding that love is not materialistic. And I don't think this is about material, but I think this is definitely about value. And understanding the value of the relationship. Because what brings you two together is a very fast speed, it's progress, it's the arrows of love, definitely getting hit real fast. I think you guys definitely fell in love quickly. Um, some of you guys definitely fell in love quickly, or definitely you guys, you know, went along with the energy, felt that, felt that fire, right? But then now the challenge is the struggle of dealing, of, of, of dealing with the outside world, of dealing with the circumstances of your peers, of your, um, of your environment some of you guys this is literally not having enough money some of you guys this is just lacking of some sort of support or stability in a relationship for some of you you know maybe you guys just don't feel like there's something you know that, you know something quite up to par because the five of pentacles doesn't say that there's anything missing but it does indicate that there's a lack of something this is the poverty card right something could be more of this is always like this desire to seek out for more but there's also a struggle a struggle that you guys both try to overcome together. Now, typically I read the side for my clients here, but this is up to you whether to take this side, Libra, or take the other side. But I'm going to read this side as you, to, for the most part. But again, like I said, since this is a general reading, you're definitely you know cool with going on the other side if you want to. But this person, you, going into this relationship, the mentality going into this relationship is very hierophant, right? It's hierophant. You're in a commitment. You're in a relationship. I don't think it's conformity or of any sort. I think you guys know that you know you're committed and you're in it, right? It's telling me that you're definitely in this relationship. This is something you truly stand by. A lot of you guys, this is also, you guys are very much aware of the dynamics of, uh, that you guys have that are different. Whether this is cultural, this is religion, this is uh, racial, this is, uh, um, you know, ge um, um, generational as well. If there's an age difference. And I feel like there's a lot of you guys that are dealing with different ages recently, lately. A lot of people different dealing with it and i think you guys have also changed a lot of your own beliefs a lot of your own routines and everything to fit the pattern of the of the relationship as well as what you're focusing on right to get yourself motivated to towards what you're focused on now 
with the higher fat being in this placement as well, I definitely see, you know, serious loyalty and serious um, commitments here. So I feel like you guys definitely are in this relationship and fully 100% committed, not just to the relationship, but to yourself, right? Not just to the other person, but to yourself. What loyalties do you seek and what, what stability, what, what commitments do you, did you make for yourself with this relationship? Now, the other person sees this as a new path a new idea a new a new perspective a new opportunity well they go into this with a new with an open mind very much but the ace of swords would be that this this is also a victory for them this is something that they see very clearly or this is an um this is a victory for them that definitely makes them makes them, make them very happy you know it can, be, it can make them very happy the ace of swords is also a victory like i said and the ace of swords is also clarity through the truth that this person definitely has a lot of clarity in the through the truth here. And they know their truth when they're in this relationship with you, um, and they're very um, they're very you know good with coming up with new ideas. They're coming up with new ideas right now. Um, again, this clarity is on point. This is good. But the what presents what is what this person is presenting right? Well, how they're showing what they're showing here is that they're, they're very focused on practical energy very focused on perhaps the money perhaps the finances perhaps the career perhaps the you know what they feel of value and i think they're trying to also make a decision at the same time but they're not doing that with you know with with, with embracing their feelings they're not looking at what they what their heart's desire is what their what they feel about any of these pentacles some of the some of you guys could be dealing with somebody that's just you know distracting themselves with work distracting themselves or not really distracting themselves but doing something that practically is i wouldn't say distraction like i said but really keeping them focused like really balancing things and trying to get things you know in a certain direction you know they're really they're really busy if that makes sense they got a lot of stuff that they're juggling that's what i'm trying to say so they may not have anything that you're trying to deter from but i think they're they're definitely focusing on material focusing on the value of something and that is also keeping things you know keeping them very busy now on your end what you're presenting is the knight of cups very focused on what you feel very focused on what you want okay i think also you're the romantic in this which can also can be a little bit sad if you're the romantic and they're focusing on their work they may not notice that you're trying to extend them romantic anything because they're focused on the practical they're focused on something else they're focused on focusing on something that they should try to fit you know that they're trying to make a decision about whether or not this has real value or at all they're trying to understand or try to figure out what exactly you know is is valuable to them so they can go along that road but here you are knight of cups showing your cup and they're not seeing it you know i have the feeling that they're just very distracted and enthralled in the material right now they're just they're very enthralled in a certain in a different mindset they're very practical oriented at this moment and even they're ignoring their own emotions so if you guys are not really seeing eye to eye i can understand that the challenge here is the lack of communication the lack of connection perhaps even in the romantic sense or the emotional sense you know and they you know delving in deep into an emotional sense an emotional connection here because someone else is not really in it like that you know and it's not because they don't want to i don't think that's the case they see this very they see this relationship as a win but i think and it looks like to me as well like if they if we had to do it diagonally like this they see this as not just only a victory but something to fight for but the way they're doing it is by focusing on the practical and putting their emotions behind them and doing the things that they may not exactly enjoy to do like juggling these pentacles while you're focusing on what you want and letting that be your 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 um your source of energy if that makes sense being your drive your 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 uh, gasoline to your car if that makes sense the the go 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 juice so this being said right with the knight of cups coming up here definitely focus on your emotions definitely focus on how you feel definitely focus on what you want and you know you're offering this cup to this individual that's kind of keeping things uh, oscillated and i think you're coming up with definitely dreams and ideas and you're being very you know romantic here but they are very focusing on what's real what they can do what makes sense what they know makes is reliable you know they're very practical well this is a very dreamy energy now why are you acting as though you are dreamy and why is your mindset you know committed why is why do you use your mindset the hermit something that really speaks of commitment here it's because of the knight of swords 
this is your way of fighting for the relationship. For a lot of you guys, this is for you. This is your way of going after what you believe in, going after what you want. You know, this is you very focused, very driven towards what you want. You're committed to making this relationship work. You're committed to making this dynamic between you and this individual, like the best that it can possibly be. But this is the way you do it. You do it because, you know, you do it by coming up with new ideas, dreaming. And I think these new ideas would be great to hear if they, you know, if they weren't seeming like dreams. I think this is also you guys coming into this with very logical truth, right? You know what your truth is. You know what you stand for. You know what you'll be, you're fighting for. It's another one of those things. Now, the other person here is the Nine of Pentacles. The reason why they're the Two of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords is that they're kind of coming from a place where they're very familiar with something. Think of it like this. They're in their own world. They know how their own world operates. And just be, if it's outside of their realm, of you know if it's outside of that world for them they like it like this they're not going to necessarily consider it not necessarily because they don't believe it's real but it's because they're you know they what they know to be work the, what they know to work is what they've been dealing with so their dreams in a way are limited some of them can be very limited some of them can be just like they're in a comfort zone they they know what they what makes them feel good you know they knows they know what makes them feel safe they know what they're confident in you know, there's kind of keeping in an area and or in in a, in a an arena that they know very well, they're very well versed with, and they're only going to play with that because that's what they know, and that's what makes them feel comfortable. But I think this is also with this Ace of Swords, they know that there's new beginnings, there's new possibilities here, and you bring that to the table. I feel like you come into this looking to break boundaries anyway, looking to break norms, especially for this person. So it's like you come in with dreams and while they're coming in with practicality, you come in to fight for something, to break free, to to go after what you believe in. This person looks to stay in. This is not just only that you're committed to the relationship, but it looks like you're also going in to break a lot of these normalities that the other person has, right? To show them that there's another world outside of this world that they have here. But at the same time, you're coming from your own world of security. You're coming from your own world of boundary. And I think this person is also making you see their side and see, tapping into their world. Not of conformity, but you're also changing or seeing another perspective of yourself that you, another perspective that can help you in the long run too. A practical perspective. You know? And maybe this is also highlighting a lot of the things that you recognize to be very practical in yourself and you're looking to be more dreamy and to go after your dreams more and to go after what you believe instead of focusing so much on the practical. Because that's the thing that's keep that's just the struggle for the both of you. Right? Being together and enjoying each other's company without worrying about what they what the next meal will be, not worrying about, you know, this what you guys have to deal with or put up with. Being broke and not having enough. It's very interesting. Very interesting reading, Libra. All right. So let's go ahead and see what you guys got here. For the advice and to wrap up this reading here. What does the Whispers of Love got to tell us? Aha. Spend quality time together. It is imp... <laughs> It is imperative that we spend quality time with those we are in significant relationships with, listening and talking to each other. What brought you two together was communication, and now the struggle is keeping that up. Because look at the eight, look at that. The eight of wands is not just progress, but it's also communication. You're doing all of this because you're trying to communicate, and again, this person's very much distracted with other things, so they can't even see the heart-to-heart -heart conversations. But that's what's so important. That's what's so important. They may be so comfortable in their comfort zone with the practical, sticking with the practical here, that this is all they know. But I feel like with the Five of Pentacles, this is all, you know, this is a situation that needs to have more time together, more quality time, and true quality time, getting to know each other, understanding each other's dreams, understanding each other's feelings about things, understanding each other's pers uh, perspectives and opinions. I think this person's fresh, at, you know, and this is a fresh new perspective that they, that deserves to be purged, but they're so enthralled with everything material wise that it's tearing them and distracting them from what matters, which is survival or can, you know, connection. 